Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do the very last issue of uh, Wildstorm's Black Sun number issue number six. Thank God. Um, I don't want to waste much time on this one, so let's dive in. Um, so we see here Maggie with uh, her father, um, or I think that's her father, not entirely sure. Uh, this second guy, and it's finally been revealed that he is called Azuras. Now, who is Azuras? I don't know. He's just a sorcerer. Now, who is this? This is the um, Maggie's mother. She was in a coma uh, for, I don't know, since the beginning of the comic. And she has now magical powers. She's also a sorcerer, too. So it seems that these are uh, once upon a time lovers. And they, he says, oh, I want to embrace you. And she says, yeah, yeah, come to me, darling. Well, she is here, too. You know. uh, this is Maggie, by the way, the, the main protagonist. And um, then this very ugly uh, double splash double spread splash page is happening while well, she is just absorbing the soul of um, this and he says you got what you deserve not sure what he did to deserve this and it's never been explained so yeah and now she is ripping her his soul like I don't know Mortal Kombat Shang Tsung uh, I must say this looks better I mean okay good yeah I'm, I'm enjoying that uh, instead of this this really really ugly and um, and she's just doing the, the 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 how do you say stereotypical evil shtick, and then then hey, she says, "Mom, Margaret, my beautiful girl. Oh my God, I can't believe you're here. Believe it, child." And she's you know turning evil. Ha ha! Who didn't saw that coming? And then um, she touches her and wants to also have her soul. Um, so she's tried to absorb it, but then uh, Maggie breaks the contact, and um, and she also says, "Let it, let it happen, Margaret." Uh, blah blah blah. And then uh, you resist me. Well, then it's going to be fun now, isn't it? And then I don't know. Is this still her soul in her hands? I'm not entirely sure. Or totally different. Um, and then she's doing the um, Kamehameha or uh, Hadouken thing. <clears throat> you know, this is all fighting games reference that I'm doing now. And uh, Maggie uses her pearl to shield herself. Um, like I said, there's parts of here that I like that looks good, but overall, mostly, it's it's a mixed bag, just like in the previous issues. Um, now, I want to read this one. Why? Because of Paul Colassi, and he did also the Terminator series, so I'm going to look for this one if I'm going to get it. And like I said uh, earlier, uh, or just a second ago, there's parts that I looked at, I think, hey, this looks cool, and then the, 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 the colors are nice, um, unlike the previous pages when the colors are being muted and dull and ugly. And these demons are looking for the father of, uh, of Maggie. Not sure why, but that's what they're going to do. Uh, Maggie's father is not here because he hears the noise, and then he attacks this demon. And then remember the, the, the angle with the bracelets that the kids have the bracelets on, they turn into demons. Well, uh, it's here, it's coming back. That's a nice little touch that didn't forget that. Um, so the, the armor and bracelets, the bracelet, uh, whoop, the bracelet breaks. Jesus. The bracelet breaks, right? You can see it here. But then it's magically being attached again. I'm not sure how. So it didn't break at all, but somehow it malfunctions and it turns these monsters back into kids. And then he is for being unconscious because of whatever. Um, going back, and then, uh, man, this, this, the writing is so cliche. It's so bad. It's so over the top. I mean, everybody could have written it. People with no experience, no talent can written can write something like this. I mean... Come out, come out, wherever you are. I can smell your fear. Uh, you know, it's it's just so bad. And then Maggie says, well, enough is this bullshit. And she touches the pearl. And she's finally, I don't know, doing, you know, the, the, she activates and fulfilling her prophecy or whatever. And having their own, how do you say it? You have the full potential, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And she has uh, turned herself into, I don't know, um, a warrior, I guess, with a pretty cool, cool-looking costume. And she has weapons. And I think, okay, now it's getting exciting. And um, But then she's doing the f stupid movie reference because she's going to 
go all crouching tiger on her evil ass. Stop with stop with references. Like I said, in a couple of years, in 10 years, 20, 30 years, nobody remembers these these lines anymore. Uh, on, yeah, well, Crouching Tiger is a popular movie, so that may be still hanging around, but all the other movie references in this comic is, is really bad. And then she is doing, ha, 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 uh, blah, 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 and do you know how to, to wield it? And then she can't somehow, and then she's getting her ass kicked, and all these... this. Cool looking costume is being ripped to shreds. Uh, so yeah, that, there's that. So we see a, a cool transformation, you know, and then it's gone. Insignificant. It's it has no value at all. And uh, not sure what this is. Ads, more ads, and um, she, and her mother slaps uh, her daughter in the face. Um, you defy your mother. You ungrateful well, blah, blah, blah. And then she's breaking the contact again and she throws the amulet over the building because it seems that she, the mother needs it. Again, not sure why, because nothing is getting explained. And then the mother dives over the, um, over the balcony and she falls and then Maggie goes to her, her, her boyfriend and, um, and, they want to get to safety, but then she comes back, her mother, all powerful, and I really don't like this color scheme, and it just doesn't look any good, in my opinion, of course. And she's all overpowered evil, using the magical snakes. Uh, oh, by the way, remember the, the evil Tekken father? Uh, he's gone, he's never been to be seen again. Uh, although he's been in four issues, uh, boasting how big of a threat he is, and that he needs Maggie to fulfill the prophecy. And we don't never see him again. And the prophecy, whatever prophecy it was, that Maggie's being changed into some kind of a magic warrior that's been gone too because, yeah, no, I don't know either. <laughs> so she pushes her her boyfriend into, I don't know, the safety stairs. I'm not sure how, uh, the, the fire stairs. Uh, this is probably an American word for that that I don't remember, nor do I want to at this point because this comic is getting so boring and, and, and ridiculous. Okay, so she's being held by these snakes, right? As you can see here. And she says, oh, you could rule by my side. What is this, a bad, bad Star Wars references? Uh, these writers, man, they are just, it seems that they are watching every, you know, fantasy movie with evil guys in it, like Showdown in Little Tokyo, and they pl pluck all these bad references well not all. In, in the movie it was probably cool but it doesn't work in a comic it doesn't translate very well because there is no build up there is just going from one scene to the other and then well we have to to um how do you say uh, accept what what it is there's no explanation why she's evil there's no explanation why she is coming out of the coma uh, except that some amulet is being triggered and she is being wake, woken up uh, what is the background? What is with the ruling side? What is with the prophecy? Where is the Tekken guy? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But then, okay, um, then uh, Maggie is doing her Jedi mind trick thing and she's pulling the, the amulet closer to her, although she is here basically overpowered, but now she is suddenly more powerful than her mother, although the mother has this, the, in possession of this magical artifact and along with her own magic powers. I don't get it. And then um, she screams in the face and uh, she talks about uh, destiny and power and deserving. And she says, you want power? Okay. You've seen this all before. It's bullshit. I mean, how does Maggie know um, what to do? So she gives her, her mother the power and you all know what's gonna happen. So suddenly she has been drunk with power and I said, yeah, give it all to me. <laughs> and again, this looks cool. This looks cool. There are some parts with the art, it looks cool, it works, but mostly it doesn't. And then um, this happening, oh no, the power is too much. I mean, I'm just being sarcastic now. And then... She cannot handle the power and she explodes and all her essence and power and soul is being sucked into this amulet. And she says, I'm sorry, mom. And then she is, I don't know, closing the lid or something or she shuts down. 
drops the amulet on the floor, goes to her husband or her uh, boyfriend, Nate. And then Nate says, do you want to marry me? And she says, yes. Well, she doesn't say it, but because a month later, <laughs> yeah, because it's now over, a month later, she's here with her dad in a wheelchair and talk about what the things was happening, her her. Uh, remember the the crazy brother of this 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 man, her uncle. She, he's still in a coma. His brain is fried or something. Don't care. She's getting married. Don't care. And then he says, "What about the other piece of jewelry?" And then we see that she is, oops, you know, going into her apartment and you know this, and she says, "It's in a safe place." This isn't a safe place. This is a, this is not a safe place. Throw it into the ocean and into at a million miles of depth or something, you know, below the sea. That's probably safe. This is not safe. Uh, the, the, well, the last thing positive I want to say, this looks cool. And I mean with that, it reminds me, that's probably, it's cool. It just reminds me of the movie Superman 2, if you have seen it, yeah, I'm that old. When uh, General uh, Zod, you know, Zod, is it zod -El? No, it's just, uh, why am I forgetting blanking? Well, General Zod uh, has uh, been thrown into the Phantom Zone with his goons. Uh, and uh, they are, you know, there was a particular scene that they're looking to the camera. And when, well, the, the how do you say, the prison is spinning into the nothingness and they are then going into uh, the phantom zone or they are, I mean, uh, stuck into the phantom zone and they have their faces over. No! And the comment is, no! <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it's trash. It's it's not good at all. It's 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 a waste of my time. Uh, yeah, I, I feel bad for my wallet that I put money in this, but, you know, it's always a gamble. Um so guys, I hope you like this very um, in-depth uh, analysis of this beautiful looking and well-written comic. <clears throat> uh, give me a like if you want. Share my video, like my video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel and all that jazz. See you next time. Bye-bye.